Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. Welcome to some more exploration. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the Gnosis. This was actually a request from one of the view viewers. He asked me to make a video about the Gnosis and that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, now, I just bought it and uh, made a quick fit on it, uh, but uh, I just realized that I made a pretty big mistake and that is that I didn't put a prop mod on it. So that's going to be pretty tricky. Still, let's see if we can uh, make something happen here and let's actually launch our mids, uh, our medium drones at the uh, cruisers. I think uh, that's probably going to be a better idea. And I've got rapid light missile launchers, so that should be pretty good to try and handle uh, these uh, frigates. The disadvantage with, um, with this fit is of course going to be in the second room. Uh, there I'm going to run into some problems when it comes to trying to do like a snipe off or something like that. So as a result, I think I'll just have to switch this out and actually try to clear the entire room uh, with the Gnosis. I must say so far the shield tank is decently impressive. It's also omni-tanked and so I could uh, conceivably... Oops, uh, yep, that's actually right. So I'm just going to keep one eye on the hammerheads as I keep hitting these... Uh, these frigates and so what I was saying is that um, I could conceivably not really sure actually what I was going to say but yeah the the shield tank oh yeah yeah oh god damn it let's try to return this guy to drone bay Ooh, that's gonna be tough go 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 get back get back get back and he actually just blows up all right well if you don't pay attention you're going to lose drones of course uh, but for now, let's keep going and right off the bat, they're going after a second one. All right, very problematic, I would almost say. Not too easy, you gotta be close attention and of course hammerheads are not exactly the fastest drones around either. So as a result, we'll have some work to do on getting this one to work here up. They're going after the next one, so let's recall this guy, put one of these out. And well, fire this at you. And I don't think that it matters that much anymore what they are targeting because we get some smalls for the frigates as well. That one is in as well. Let's launch another one. Now they're hitting me. Okay. And we can actually just straight up approach this now, I think. Waiting for the reloads. We can do a little bit of um, a little bit of shield wrapping. It's only a medium. Just I didn't have the CPU again for a, a large, so that's going to be tricky as well. Not cap stable, so it's it's in my opinion an interesting uh, but decently tricky ship uh, to uh, to actually fit for really for high end content. Um, so let's see. Should I? Well, we will need a little bit of, of regen anyway, so we might as well use our missiles on whatever is being targeted. We'll put up another small. That's at 33 kilometers, may not even have the range on that. Most... Yeah, only 27 kilometers. I thought so. Let's see if the, let's see if the missile launchers can actually uh, handle something like a cruiser. Kill that one. Drones on this one. Yeah, it, it'll work. It's a decent amount of uh, missiles, but it will actually break that medium. All right. Do a little bit of ripping. Uh, sniping. The big problem is I'm so slow at this point that uh, it's not going to be very good to try and snipe off the true Sanja, I don't think. We'll have to let him come closer. And there we go. You are down. You can stop repping. You can reload. So that was the first room. Not easy. Done under five minutes. Not all that bad. And uh, as we reload, save a little bit on the gap here, we'll... Um, We'll get going into the second room. 
let's see if we can handle that so my first thought here is going to be i actually think i'm gonna run away from everything <laughs> <laughs> and then just uh, let the frigates come at me first, take him out, and then after that slowly go through the cruisers and see if we can handle things that way. So we'll be heading in that direction over to the left. There's nothing in range for my missiles, which is uh, not great. So you would definitely need a prop mod to do this efficiently and go off to the true Sancha. I will target it just to make sure that I've got a good eye on it. Uh, in case it's um, pretty fast and, and comes up against me. Here comes incoming enemy fire, of course. And for now, let's uh, target some of these frigates. And see if they come within like 27 kilometers. Take them out with some missiles. Trusantia at 41 kilometers now. He's closing in decently quickly, but I don't think he'll be closing in as quickly as these little guys here. So, do I also send out my small drones? Well, it can only help. They should have some sort of tanking capabilities, I'm hoping. And uh, maybe they'll divert a little bit of fire away from me. So, you are going to send two volleys that way. Start targeting some more of these closer guys. Now one next. Alright. Go my drones. They're not being attacked. That's good. So we can go after these small ones as well. Alright, more of the small stuff coming in. Oop, first cruiser coming in here as well, though. Uh, nope, don't go after that. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Need to keep those guys safe as I whittle away at the enemy DPS. So you go after those guys. You go after these guys. I'll start repping a little bit. Next small one. Engage. That's good. All right, some more small stuff. They decide to go there on their own. All right, you are next. Just a little bit more. You're next. Any more small guys? Nope. Now we actually have some cruisers coming nearby. That's interesting. Savage can get killed. Whoa. Decently, decently strong there, actually. You're next. And the two Sasha Foreman, he's staying well away from me. Uh, but we can, of course, apparently uh, guide this for now. So you guys actually get to return. Because all that we've got left are cruisers. Yes. Okay. That means normally I would, of course, have five mediums. Now we'll switch down to four and we should probably start with the closest one add in some missiles and right off the bat jesus that is very very annoying they don't like my hammerheads for some reason just look at that everybody focusing on that guy he's even in structure managing to come back just in time at least we kill one uh, are they going to go after another one it does look like they are yep sorry my god return 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 everything. Will he make it? Probably not. Goodbye. Goodbye, faithful. So we'll we'll have to do this uh, the patient way here. We're gonna have to use the hobgoblins, I think. A bit more repping. True Sancha Foreman still at 27 kilometers. So I can use the missiles as well. Eventually we'll normally get through this. Uh, but it's it's not that easy. Especially when they decide to go after my uh, drones, those bloody bastards. Next one at 20. Alright, let's actually... Um, I'm not really sure if I should start heading towards that true Sancha Foreman. Maybe we can, actually. We'll risk it. Uh, another one at 26. That's got some damage, so we'll target you next. We'll do a bit more repping as well. So that one should be down with this folly. Blap. Let's see if we can handle the true Sancha Foreman with what we've got left. So we've got five 
small hot goblins and some uh, missiles poking away at True Sancho Foreman. Didn't I tell my noses to approach him? There we go. Full speed ahead, please. Give it all we've got. That looks okay. Well, it takes a bit longer, but this was actually okay. Uh, doable so far. True Sancho Foreman, two more volleys. Let's hope that we can, uh, we can keep doing... Damn, he reps. He reps a lot. And now I start to take more damage as well. So I'm gonna start repping too. And uh, let's hope that my small drones can finish this off. Yes, they can. Good. Uh, closest one at 16. You are next, of course. As we go for the loot. Let's see if we can take a couple more out here. Well, the... the Small drone damage, not bad at all, I must say. Pretty respectable. Kill that one, all on their own, come on. And then I'm gonna start firing my missiles at this blo bloody bastard. Sasha bastards. Okay, we can stop prepping a little bit. That'll be alright. Try not to overdo with the number of missiles as we send out another one at 21 kilometers let's go and this one slowly coming into view here at 10 km okay let's take care of that one do love the shield effects so they're actually i think unique shields because this is a society of conscious tall chip and um well you can put a pretty decent uh shield tag on this with uh, six mid slots available for that and the rapid light missile launchers you get some nice burst of damage just need to figure out how to use the the mediums on this it would speed all of this up by quite a lot um just not that easy we'll do just one more you can stop now that one is down all right we'll, we'll try to finish off the side actually it takes a little bit longer then but i think we can basically try to do that it shows that that this can do pretty much what the Cerberus does. Only 3 million, but a faction piece at least. So definitely happy with that. And then we've got four more enemy cruisers going after us. Damage starting to be a little bit lower. So we can stop the repping once again. And uh, I'll, I'll keep doing it like this. Apparently that uh, helps the... Cruisers don't like to target the small drones, but they absolutely loved going after my medium drones. You can see <laughs> the result of my poor hammerheads. Two of their brothers lost and uh, one is structured, the others all their armor gone. I'll need to figure out how to run this a bit more effectively, uh, but it does a 4 out of 10 without too much trouble. And um, pretty importantly, of course, is something like a 3 out of 10. The Obgoblin uh, Rapid Light Missile Launcher combination is going to help you do that side very, very effectively, actually. I think that, uh, that this one would be really good uh, in that side, personally. So these guys are at 20 kilometers, do a little bit more repping, it won't be a problem. So as I finish the site here, I'm sure some of you guys are curious what I uh, did when it comes to the fitting. So five rapid light missile launchers and of course probe launcher. I usually take a take two, 16 scissor core uh, scanner probes so that the reload is automatic. That's what I did there. Here we've got adaptive invulnerability field. Then I've got EM ward, explosive ward, kinetic deflection and thermal so all of these increase my resistance of course and now we've got a actually invested a little bit in that pitmc type medium shield booster 35 million uh, actually i think pretty doable when it comes to the budget here and uh, it helps a little bit with, with the wrapping power which i think is important uh, because sometimes you need that burst wrapping available when you've got a lot of incoming damage and then the low slots of course are here to help damage control too i think it's just too good to pass up two drone damage amplifiers two ballistic control systems a shield power relay to get a bit more regen i needed the medium processor overclocking unit for more cpu but then we have medium core defense a field pressure that's more regen 
and medium core defense field extender that's more hp as well 76 percent resistance across the board like this not too shabby and as you can see it just did a four out of ten with losing some drones but uh, just you know run your small drones right from the start don't switch out and uh, you'll actually get through this uh, without too much trouble either so there you go this is actually a ship that an alpha clone can fly as well you won't be able to do this entire fitting of course but uh, definitely a pretty nice one if as an alpha clone you want to do some of oh actually it's a battle cruiser we can't do three out of tens with this one but if you want a ship that can uh, handle a four out of ten as an alpha uh, clone this would probably be uh, your only option and that's going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time Warp drive active.